Hey guys, so I am going to run to a few thrift stores. It is an icky, rainy day, windy. Um, I was hoping that the rain would stop by noon, but doesn't look like it did. It is 12.30 and I'm not waiting anymore. Um, so I'm gonna go to this um, smaller town that my daughter lives in. I have some personal errands I need to run there. And I thought while I'm there, they have some thrift stores that I like. Um, well, they have one actually. And they do have an Amazon store, but they are closed today for restocking. Um, but let's see, what else do they have there? They have a bunch of unique little quaint antique stores and little shopping in the downtown area, which is a very quaint small town, which it's adorable and the shops are adorable but I don't have time for all that today um, but I am gonna go to the one thrift store there and then when I come back into town um, where I live I'm in Dunlap Illinois I'm going to Chillicothe Illinois and then I might go into Peoria which is actually the main city um, it's the larger city here um, so and then I live like in the surrounding suburbs and small towns so um but I'm like the closest like it's Peoria than Dunlap so I'm like right on right on the edge um but anyway so join me I'm going to um go there and uh hopefully I find some good stuff I'm going to take you along with me now it's a small store not a huge store so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film or talk or um, how busy they're going to be, but I'm going to do my best, okay? So come along and um, hopefully we find some good stuff. Okay, so I just pulled up and there's not a lot of um, people here. Go in, there's not a lot of people here, so that's a good thing. So hopefully I'll be able to film and um, have a little space to do that. So let's go inside. I look at like the crochet and needlework, kind of like a little bit of a sewing section. And I pick up this um, needlepoint frame. And I instantly want that because I can think of several different things that I want to do with it. And I look at a few other things in the area there. And I'm looking at the fabric. I always love to pick up little remnants of things. And I see this adorable checkered yellow. And I'm kind of upset that I didn't get it because I really am holding it for so long because I really was thinking about it. And I should have grabbed it because with Easter, I could think of darling little crafts. And then I'm continuing to look through and I don't really see anything else there and um, so there's some wrapping paper and I start to go on and then I look to my left and I see all these totes full of um, I wasn't sure what it was but the closer I got I realized it was like cake decorating um, little plastic things and those just really really aren't in and they they looked pretty vintage <laughs> they looked pretty old um, so I go on through here I'm looking at the lamps I don't really see anything I thought those were pretty um, these are linens and occasionally I'll check those out but it, the bins looked pretty empty so I didn't really look too hard um, saw that cute little painting um, picked up a few little items there I thought that was pretty, but it didn't have a stamp, or I think it said made in China, maybe. I could, or no, no stamp, no stamp. I saw this cute little ballet slipper. They had a little um, bowl full of them. I 
I really loved this teapot. Looked like pottery. I love the coloring on it. I should have grabbed it, but I think it was $5.50 and I think it was made in China or no markings on it at all, maybe. The shelves weren't very packed. I see a little milk glass vase. I'm not really sure how much those are going for, so I put that back. That was a neat little wooden, it looked like maybe it goes over your tub. Put like a wine glass in it. That I put in my cart. That I put in my cart for a dollar. thought that was a pretty painted bowl but it was made in China so I didn't do it I maybe for a dollar I should have picked it up but I didn't and I regret not getting that melt glass shell I should have gotten that and I don't know why I even looked at that for so long <laughs> this I thought was neat that dark green is really starting to come back. And, um, but it did have a chip on it. So I didn't buy it. I left it there. That disappointed me. That little chip. Those weren't stamped. This I thought was really pretty, but it did have like a lot of wear on it. Um, but I checked it out. It was very pretty. It's uh, eggshell. And I think it was made in USA. I regret not getting this. And that was pretty also. was a pretty bowl um, originally it was at the Goodwill um, it was made in Portugal but it had a chip on the bottom so I put it back down and later not shortly thereafter someone grabbed it right away I thought that was a cute little bowl it had like a blue hue to it but I put it put it back left it there I thought that was a cute little mug. And that I just checked to see, but it was unmarked. And checked that. And these cute little tens I ended up getting. Little jello molds. Right after I walked away, a guy grabbed that. <laughs> I 
I saw those and I almost got them. They were really a good price, honestly, $3.50 a piece, but I ended up leaving them there. Really thought about it though. And here I'm looking at their craft section. And I end up getting this. And I thought I could use those and those. So I put them in my cart, but then I ended up putting them back. And seashells, I have a lot of those, but I was tempted. Got that spool of ribbon. I thought that was a great deal, 50 cents. That was a good find, $2 for all that juke cord. I put that in my cart because it probably was a good deal. I didn't like run a comp or anything, but for 250, 75 feet of paper, um, but then I end up putting it back later. And I put that in my cart also, and then I ended up putting that back as well. <laughs> Then I go back over to the plate section and I'm looking through everything a little better. I think someone was standing there before and I, so I went on to do something else or look somewhere else and then came back to them. Um, but I couldn't believe how cheap the false graph plates were. And I ended up not grabbing them. I had them all in my cart, all of them, every last one of them. And then I ended up putting them all back. I just kept thinking, oh, do I wanna ship these? The comps weren't bad on them. The comps were pretty good. I mean, for like, if you sell like a single plate, but I just didn't wanna deal with glass like that. Those plates, those square china, was they were beautiful. And then I come back to the little basket and floral area. They had nothing, I mean, not much at all. That was pretty beat up, so I left that there. And that was a cheap basket. Just nothing, nothing to speak of. Their stems are a pretty good deal, a dollar per stem. If you can find some good ones, that's a good deal for them. I thought that was a pretty frame. It looked to be a little vintage. The little metal around the edging looked old. I took a look at their artwork. I thought that was kind of neat, but that would take a special buyer that played the guitar or had like a music studio or something that would look good in there. loved that rocking chair. Just the colorway would not go in my home at all. I 
I thought that was a neat bowl. But I left it there. And then I spotted... What did I spot? But some mid-century modern Murano. And it was pretty, but they wanted, what, $38.50 for it? And I'm like, nope, we're just going to leave that right there. That was kind of a cute little vintage hors d'oeuvre set. It wasn't a bad price. I probably should have gotten that. And then here's just a Pier 1 import vase. Oh, wow. Okay. So... When I left my house, it was like 1230. I am still at Helping Hands. I just left. It is 308. You guys. I have never spent that long. Anyway, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I am ready to go home. Ugh. Um, maybe. It's getting late. Three. But, you know... I don't have anything else to do right now other than list stuff on eBay, which I really need to do, and Marketplace. All right, so I will get to my haul video as soon as possible so that you guys can see everything that I got. See you soon. Okay, guys, so this is what I got Okay, so I kind of have it divided into things I'm going to craft with, and like you saw in the video, this is what I ended up buying. So these are knobs. I end up um, getting these. They are real heavy, and they're great. Um, I do a lot of refinishing of furniture. Um, this is brand new. I was so excited to find that. That's normally like 4 or $5 at Walmart. And for $2 for that whole thing for that size, I thought was an amazing deal. For $0.50, cents, I always like to pick up ribbon. I do make a lot of wreaths, and sometimes I just like to use it for gift wrapping and stuff. So, um, the nautical robe, I mean, everything at Dollar Tree now is a dollar and a quarter. So to even find it for a dollar and save a quarter, hey, why not? And I always um, use crates for different arrangements um, and do fun things with them. So, yeah. And then an embroidery hoop. I don't embroider, but um, you can make some really cute DIY projects with that. And um, this moss sheet um, came from the Dollar Tree, but again, to buy that would be a dollar twenty-five, and I got it for fifty cents. So, and I got all those knobs for fifty cents. I think I got this for fifty cents. These were fifty cents each. Okay, so that is my crafting stuff. Now we're gonna move on to stuff I'm going to sell, which I didn't find a lot at first. Um, I found this really cool gentleman's hat and it's Country Gentleman. You can actually buy it on Amazon right now. It's in perfect condition, like it's perfect. Um, you can actually buy it. There's just like some fuzz or something there. Um, on Amazon for 55, I got it for $2. And I think you can buy it in black and then this gray color and then I think like a tan. I found this ball scrap apple bowl and I looked up the comps on it and I just wasn't paying attention but it is pretty oversaturated with those right now. So I might be sitting on that for a while. Then I got this cute little paperweight, um, shell paperweight. I think I paid 50 cents for that. And then I got these two little vintage jello molds. 
I thought were really cute. Nothing really special, but they're vintage. And I was really happy to find these. These are like an adult large. And um, I paid $1.50 for them. And I have my daughter played soccer, so I know how much all that stuff can add up. And um, so I grabbed those for $1.50. Okay, so now on to... I picked up this cute little dress for $1.50. So, but let's backtrack a little bit. Okay, so when I first got to the store, I, hold on one second. Okay, when I first got to the store and I started looking around, I looked at clothes last and I was really excited to find because I've heard they go really well on eBay and it's a Vineyard Vines and it's like a size small. So hopefully it sells. Um, anyway, women's shirts were $3 and um, so I bought it thinking it was $3. When I went to checkout, I found out that all their clothes were 50% off that day. So as soon as I found that out, I checked out, you know, I, I paid, put my bags back in my car, and I went back in to start looking at the clothing. And, voila. Okay, so let me go through. First, I found two men's medium, Nike, one Nike dry fit, perfect condition. This Adidas men's medium dry fit and these were 350 so I got them for $1.75 a piece if I sold them for $20 what a huge profit but looks like they are going for a little more on eBay and some other sites okay then I found these two North Face fleeces. Now, I personally am not into those wearing hot pink and purple, but there are so many people that that are. Um, so this was five fifty. It was a women's medium, I believe. Yes, women's medium, and it is in perfect condition. Even inside the pockets, it's still really soft. Um, but it still feels really nice. Everything is clean. Nothing, everything is working properly. Like, it is, it's perfect. Little string there. But, yeah. So, I was so excited. So, I got that for $275. $275. Okay. Then, of course, the purple. Perfect condition, still soft. Again, 550, but it's a small. Then this one's gonna be kind of hard to see. I don't really have like a good setup for this. This is a brand new Evan Pacone new with tags originally where we go there we are $92 so it looks like it went on sale but it is beautiful beautiful so I know a couple sellers don't really pick up a lot of Ellen um, Ev sorry Evan Pacone but new with tags Definitely. Then I also watch another gal, um, which I've been taking a lot of tips off of her. 
and um, she's Karen Lavender, Lavender Clothesline. I love watching her. She's such a sweetheart. Anyway, she said Tord does really well for her. And I found these two Tord tops. I love that. So these will be going on to my eBay. The Evan Pacone will go on to eBay. And the two North Face. The Adidas Dry Fit hoodie. The Nike hoodie. And the adorable Vineyard Vines t-shirt. I love that. Okay, so that is what I got in that little haul. Oh. So, I also found some things that I'm going to show you here. But let me clear off the table and get it ready for round two. Okay, so... The day before, um, I went to a thrift store with my daughter. Now, most of this I'm keeping, and I didn't really have a lot of good luck with hard goods. I literally found this ball jar for, um, I think it was a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. Um, I found this little spoon rest. Um, for 50 cents, it originally came from Kohl's, but I thought it was cute. And then this little vintage antique snuff, snuffer, candle snuffer, and I paid a quarter for that. So I thought it was cute. Now, I was excited to find this it's in perfect condition the only thing wrong with it it's um let's see a men's small um i looked up comps on it and i can make quite a bit i only paid a dollar for it that just needs to be like folded over and sewn and i'll do it with both of them well actually i don't sew but my mom does so i'm gonna have her do it <laughs> okay and then um this leather bag was a dollar. It is, it's got a, it's the sack brand. The inside is really clean. Oh, and I found this. Sweet tea. Sweet, sweet tea. <laughs> 50 cents. I just thought it would be cute. Um, I actually bought this for myself um, to put my tea bag in it. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's for, just to rest my tea bag on it. Um, I'm always getting like a little tiny bowl or plate out, but I'm like, oh, this is cute, perfect. So, um, but yeah, the, this bag is, I have not run comps on it. I haven't, but the underneath, like it's just in such good condition. Such a pretty bag. And I was so tickled. Okay. And so um, I found this. Or actually, I think my daughter said, hey, Mom. Um, but it's just an Old Navy denim. And I'm going to keep that for myself. And then at Christmas time, we I always have a Christmas Eve. I have four daughters. And they have families. Well, the youngest one doesn't. But all the other older ones do. And so every Christmas Eve, everyone dresses up in their Christmas PJs. And, um, usually their families all match and stuff, but, um, I generally am too cheap. I'll just be honest to go out and spend a lot of money on a nice pair of Christmas pajamas, but now I have two pair. I can rotate. I was super excited. So those are for me and they're so soft, so soft. Okay. So that is literally, okay. Oh, nope. 
Then I got this to, to sell brand new um, here we go, with tag. And it is just so soft. I love that blue. But brand new. I have not run a comp on it. I have no idea. But it's so soft and pretty. And I thought about keeping it for myself. But probably going to sell it. Then... I just got this little like cardigan sweater with pockets, kind of longer. I love it, but that's for me. <laughs> so I'm keeping this piece, but I love like, I could even wear that denim shirt and like that and just wear some cute jewelry. I could even wear it with a pair of leggings, cute pair of boots or booties or whatever. I don't know. But so, yeah, so that was my first haul Wednesday morning okay and after we left that place um, I can't remember the name of it but it's in this little town Tremont Illinois and that was the first place the second place was the Mission Mart and I didn't get a lot there um, their prices have really gotten super expensive but I did find um, this really cute just little um, Oh, it's just you wear it with a pair of leggings just an oversized top and I think I paid like 350 for that um, my daughter is a huge Cubs fan and I got that towel for 99 cents and she just wanted me to look for like some sleep shirts for her so I found this um, I think it's like George so that would be what Walmart so just a t-shirt and then I found this Let's see, Sinclair. I love this plate. No, it is Southern Forest Family's Eastern Cottontail Rabbit by Southern Living Gallery. Anyway, it's definitely vintage, but I thought, how cute. Is that going to be up there, huh? Somewhere. So that, I did not get that to resell. I was horrible that day. All this stuff is for me. Okay, then I found this for like $4.99. $4.99 or $5.99. It is actually, it is a St. John's Bay. And I know you can get that at JCPenney. But it's genuine leather. And I love that brown. And it's in excellent condition. Just, you know, like it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. So I thought for $5.99, that was a great deal. I did not look up comps on it, but worst case scenario, I can always keep that and carry it myself. It's really cute. Okay, on to the next haul. Okay, this is the final haul. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Okay, so the toys are keep, and part of this is keep. So the Buzz Lightyear was $1.99, and I haven't looked up comps on him, but he's for my grandsons. They're one, and they love Buzz Lightyear. So I'm trying to get some more age appropriate toys for them because they're kind of getting, they're almost two. They're like 18 months and then one is 18 months and the other one is gonna be two in May. So I just am trying to get some big boy toys in here. Um, so there's a Paw Patrol. It was, I think, $1.99 maybe. And then he was a dollar forty-four, and he's part of like a Play-Doh set, but who cares? For a dollar forty-four, the boys love carrying him around. This was, um, I think, a dollar forty-four or two fifty-nine, but not very much. Looked the comps up on him just for fun, 
and he's actually worth quite a bit um, compared to what I paid for him. Um, people are selling this little car for all different kinds of prices, so it was hard to really run like a, a solid comp on him because there's lots of different comparisons. Okay, so then, um, but I, I did buy a dump truck in the same brand, Target carries this brand of toy, and I don't know who else does, but I know Target does for sure. This cool guy, um, he was $2.59 in the box still, so, and the packaging and everything, and I gotta show you guys this. Walmart carries him for like $24. So he's still being sold. How fun is that? So, and then he's, you know, he will close all the way, but I shut him off mid. Okay, so that's the toys, all keeping, but got some amazing deals. Like, I was so excited. The dinosaur, when I looked him up and what he was worth and the car. And like I said, I haven't looked up Buzz or anything. But okay, on to the other stuff. Okay, so... The, um, the whale I'm keeping because I decorate, um, kind of farmhouse coastal, more kind of like a Nantuckety feel, um, not so much, uh, cause I incorporate a lot of the blues, um, and I've done, um, extensive research on like cottages in Nantucket and, um, like Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts area and off the East Coast. New England East Coast so okay so I love that these this looks almost primitive um, it, the the handle even feels whittled but it is some kind of kitchen tool it was in the kitchen section I paid 25 cents for it and um, it was at that first shop I went to with my daughter and I forgot to include these items in there. And then this modern, um, nice bamboo handle spatula. It's like a quarter. And then I have a big um, pie, a big one, um, but I don't have a little one. And so I saw this cute little um, pie spatula and it was 25 cents and um, definitely vintage. But um, I kept that. I'm keeping that. But that all, all those things came from that other place. Okay, so back to Goodwill. So this is all from Goodwill. And I went in with um, my daughter, and she was picking out toy stuff. And um, I was looking at home goods and hard, you know, hard goods. Okay, so um, the strainer, actually, I'm keeping because I have a large one like this. Um, but I'm like, oh, I really need a small one instead of getting that large one out every time so I got this for us and then I got this stuff to sell this um, doesn't really have like a full signature I have not done a comp on that um, no idea but uh, it is stamped with something but I need to look that up but it's so heavy and I love the coloring on it love those colors and that's probably more of a, I would say, more of a modern piece. Um, and then this mug, I really liked it. It is um, signed. Um, I don't know exactly how or what, how, what that says. Amy. Amy. It says Amy. And if it's a student piece, if it is... She did a really nice job on that. Yeah, looks great. Okay, and then there's this, I think I had one of these when I was younger, but I paid $1.44 for it. It's just a little brass chopsky. So cute, vintage. I found this vintage set of um, posters. 
So I love these. I'm real excited about that. They are not marked. Looks like they need cleaned up. I wish they were marked. I bet they came in like a um, like a carrying case that had the mark on it. But anyway, five of those. And then I saw this, and it looks to be vintage, older, but it's a magnifying. hard to tell in the video but it is a magnifying glass now because I have like that New England kind of Nantuckety um, that would be cool to have a, a captain's wheel magnifying glass but so if it doesn't sell you know what worst case scenario I find a cute place for it in my own home then I thought this was the cutest little bud face it's not marked it's not nothing but it is so cute I love it and it has the frosted neck up here in the opening and but I thought that was really sweet I paid a dollar 44 for it but I can just envision like a really cute little something in that on a shelf maybe sit on a stack of books or something so cute so guys I did a lot of shopping this week um, a lot of it was for me um, some of my grandkids, um, but I mean, I did get some good items to resell. Um, so yeah, now I just need to get everything listed. I am going to just have a listing extravaganza and just get everything listed. Um, yeah, cause otherwise, um, it's not going to make any money just sitting around, right guys? Okay, that's it. That's that's it. And um, you guys, please like and subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.